in the early, early days, I say I was closest with Johnny. Mm -hmm. Even though Tommy was the one that got me in to see them meet the band, I had a big heart for Tommy. But Johnny's the one that befriended me the most out of all of them. I'm going to take a guess because you both have the collector mindset. Yeah. Did you guys he, bond over that? Yeah, bonded over the New York Yankees. Oh, there you go. John was a big time baseball card collector and uh, that was really my first job with the Ramones whenever we would get to a city and get to a hotel I get to a phone and get a phone book find out where all the local rec where all the local car shops were their hours of operation their location and take it to John and he'd make sure we got there the next morning. <clears throat> that was my job. <laughs> what a terrible job. <laughs> and I'd be amazed he'd sit there and he'd look at one card for 30 minutes or so. He wanted his cards to be perfect. So he knew I was a big Yankee fan. Of course, that's what I'm watching, New York Yankees. Um, he'd buy me cards just for helping him find this place. He'd be looking at Mickey Mantles and Roger Maris and Yogi Berra, the legends at their old cards or rookie cards. And he'd, he'd buy me a card, Billy Martin or, you know, Catfish Hunter or whatever I wanted, he'd buy it. I told him he didn't have to do that. He goes, man, it's worth it to have somebody come along with me. So, Did they ever do Ramones collector's cards that you know of? No. That would have been interesting. No. Johnny had season tickets to the Yankee Stadium for the Yankees. He had to go to all the games with season tickets. He'd take Ramon's albums and pass them out to the younger players, guys that might have heard of them, knew who they were, early 20s. He'd trade autographed albums for autographed baseballs. Ah. I thought that was pretty cool. Say, hey man, I got the first album, all four signatures, original, could be worth something someday. If you'll get a Baseball autograph by all the players. Sure, that's nothing to them. Well, as a as an expert in in collectibles, how much do you think a mint condition first edition Ramones album with all four signatures on it would go for right now? First edition Ramones album, the first one with all four signatures. Yeah. Depending on what condition the record was in, because the thing is, anybody that plays those beat the hell out of them. <laughs> well, they kind of inspire that, right? So yeah, if you somebody showed you a really good condition one, <coughs> what do you think the neighborhood would be on something like that? Probably five hundred bucks. Jeez. One thing that. It befriended me to Johnny, besides the baseball cards, going to all the shows and trying to find a card shop near the hotel that we could take a cab to. He uh, called me in Dallas one time and said there was going to be a baseball guard, baseball card convention in Arlington, was I close to Arlington? I said, well, not really. We have a Pete Rose was going to be signing baseballs, memorabilia at Arlington Convention Center. And boy, he'd been trying for two decades to get P. 
Pete Rose's autograph. I said, I'll see what I can do. He had these specific instructions. Go to a, a sporting goods store. Be sure you buy an American League ball. I don't want a National League ball. I want a, man, a National League ball, not an American League. Be sure you sign it in blue ballpoint. Don't want it in Sharpie. Any other color, we don't want. We want blue ballpoint. Did he ever explain why? No. <laughs> you just don't ask questions. You just do it. Do it, yeah. So it's on a Saturday. So I get over to the convention center. People lined up down the street. Like, Jesus. So I stood in line all day. Finally, I got in to the hotel, to the motel, and there's Pete Rose sitting at the table signing his life away. And uh, he didn't want two John and two Johnny Ramon or nothing. Or my friend he just wanted Pete Rose. So I got him a National League hardball signed Pete Rose. I said, I need to mail this to you. I don't plan on seeing you until you tour, which will be about a year. So I sent a special delivery. And sure, it wasn't that big a deal back then. But I didn't want to get lost or damaged. And that kept me in, and that got me in with Johnny for life. I bet. He still talked about that up till the end. Remember that time you stood in line all day to get, you know, autographed by uh, Pete, Pete Rose? Rose? I said, yes, I do. <clears throat> How's the game going? 